After 10 seasons, it's time to remix the college's award-winning news magazine, Studio Bergen, by covering a month's worth of stories in just five minutes. So don't let the track skip. You might miss something. With the sobering, unmistakable images of war infiltrating our social media feeds and television screens, the college has sought to provide support for members of its Eastern European family through events such as a safe space convening and a college-wide teach-in. We spoke with Dean of Math, Science, and Technology, Dr. Emily Vandalovsky, who shared her very personal connection to the conflict. I'd like to start by saying that my real name is not Emily. My name is Ludmila, or um, from, if I pronounce it correctly, it's Ludmila. So I, I was born and raised in Odessa, Ukraine, and came here almost 30 years ago. Currently, I am an American citizen, so uh, watching this were from the sideline from miles and miles away is not easy. Vandalovsky said the teach-in, which featured discussions on history, philosophy, and even music by Bergen faculty, represents part of the college's values. I think that's my job as an educator, to um, see the hope, to see the knowledge, to see to share um, that our reason should really prevail, and as hard as it feels on the personal level, I think it is also important for us not to let those feelings run the situation and gather up and use the educational approach to everything, including the war. Reflecting this year's national theme for Black History Month, Black Health and Wellness, Bergen hosted numerous events in celebration of the annual recognition series, including a panel discussion with healthcare leaders, a keynote address by Bergen County Sheriff Anthony Curitan, and activities such as a soul food cooking workshop with professors Aaron Morrissey and Rhonda Drakeford. It's extremely important that we all learn how to make different cultures um, work together, incorporate different views, different lifestyles, and I enjoy sharing my story and sharing what I do. And it's rare that I get to do it and talk about my heritage at the same time. Members of Bergen County government, including Bergen County Executive James J. Tedesco III and Commissioners Mary Amoroso and Jermaine Ortiz attended the opening keynote event to honor Black History Month Chair Professor Dr. Maureen Ellis Davis and the Committee of Faculty, Staff and Community Members who collaborated to develop Bergen's events. The Office of Student Life and Student Government Association used peanut butter and jelly to spread love during the winter season for those in need as part of a Valentine's Day food drive. The groups collected 160 jars of the gooey sandwich starters for the Center for Food Action Bergen Care Center Pantry at the college. The pantry, available for students, faculty, and staff, seeks to provide relief for those facing food insecurity or other emergency needs. The International Center for Supplemental Instruction at the University of Missouri, Kansas City has recognized student Livia Fontana with the group's annual International Outstanding New SI Leader Award. Fontana represents the only community college student to earn one of the organization's six major awards. So what's supplemental instruction? Supplemental instruction is all about peer-assisted learning. Um, so it's a really great free resource here at Bergen um, because it really helps students in their class to understand what they're doing with the material and what the professor is teaching them. We also go over a lot of the concepts to review them, prepare them for the test. Fontana currently leads supplemental instruction for General Chemistry 2 at Bergen. I feel like if you put hard work into something and you put your heart and your mind into it, you will see good results. And I really hope that the students can come away with that too from the SI sessions and from this free resource we have here at Bergen. Fontana aspires to become a professor at a university or research institute and contribute to her field. I feel like the work that I put into this program is also representative of everybody you know, internationally that also puts in a lot of hard work and dedication into the program. Um, so it really feels like I'm just a part of this small, I mean, I'm just a small part of this large group of people and we all really want to ensure success for the students. Time's up for now. We'll see you next month on Studio Bergen Remix.